सो इंजीनियरिंग इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट कंप्यूटर साइंस मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग और इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इट ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व स्टडी ऑफ फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स एंड लॉट मिन डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टू टेल यू द सिलेबस ऑफ फिजिक्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन योर इंजीनियरिंग कमिंग अप All right, let's get into the video. So you have joined your engineering, and it's time to get started. Most possibly, you will be joining your college in the end of July or maybe early August. So coming to the physics, you get to study physics in only two semesters. That is first semester and second semester. In most of the cases, it might vary according to different college and and university, but the syllabus is going to be very very same. So you not only have physics. but you also have physics lab just like you have physics in first semester you will also have physics lab in first semester you will have physics 2 in second semester then you also have physics 2 lab after studying physics in first two semesters i don't believe you are going to study physics anymore but believe me these subjects like physics chemistry maths If you have come from a uh, computer science background, if you are learning mechanical engineering, one subject in your first year, you need to clear all these exams in very first attempt. Because if you are not able to clear it, the next year when you go and sit in that exam once again, it will be a little challenging for you to clear it because uh, you are not in touch with that subject, and uh, it becomes a little difficult to clear it. Although this subject is very very easy. Also, if you had physics in plus 1 and plus 2 which i believe almost all of you had then this physics is not going to be that tough for you also i have said this in my many many videos that engineering is very easy i mean some of you may uh, have a different opinion but according to me i believe cracking engineering in years is very very easy so now let us look at this syllabus of first semester physics we call it p1 so before i get into that just remember that in most of the cases in almost every university and college your syllabus is divided into three or four sections so the syllabus that that got i got from this website uh, has four sections and in most of the cases it is, it is going to be very same in all the different universities and college so in the first section of physics 1 first semester you get to study two topics the first one is interference and the second one is diffraction Now, if you come from plus one and plus two, and if you had physics, I believe you might have studied this. In the section B, you'll get to study polarization and laser. I believe uh, polarization also you have studied a part of that in your plus one and plus two, and also a good amount of laser. Section C covers fiber optics and dielectrics, and section D covers special theory of relativity and superconductivity. Remember that having said that, this syllabus. uh you're not going to get many numericals on these topics i mean you will get numericals but most of the cases the question paper would be set up like 60 to 70% will be theory and uh, if you have a very bad case 40% will be numerical but in any case you'll be able to clear it so there are the four sections and i've also given the details so that you can go and just pause the video and just note it down or take a screenshot of the syllabus coming to this uh, physics 1 lab now that is physics 1 lab that is in your first semester now in most of the cases you are going to have something around 10 to 15 practicals that will be like to find the wavelength of sodium light by fresnel by prism to find the pitch of screw using he knew laser to find the temperature of coefficient of resistance by using platinum resistance thermometer and all this stuff so you will be taught all this in the practical slab and believe me it's done a little seriously uh, you have to maintain the practical file just the way you did in your plus 1 and plus 2 so you also have to clear your practicals even those scores count and also your theory that was a part of first semester now let us move to the second semester and let us look at the syllabus of physics 2 now physics 2 again has four sections the first section is going to have two topics the first one being crystal structure and the second one being quantum physics now quantum physics will involve a lot of uh, derivations and theory and is a very very important and interesting topics to learn 
Section C will involve nano science and free electron theory. I believe you people will be uh, eager to learn a lot more about free electron theory, but believe me, even nano science is an easy topic. Now, the section C is going to have band theory of solids, which is going to cover concepts of effective mass and holes, Hall effect, and its application. And the second topic that we are going to study in section C is photoconductivity and photovoltaics. Now, I believe you will be much more interested to learn this photoconductivity because I believe you might have studied in your plus one and plus two. The section D contains magnetic properties of solid and once again it is quite family topic to you and uh, you can score it very well. Now coming on to the lab, this again has almost like 10 to 15 practicals, the labs of physics too, which will have something around to find the value of Planck's constant by using photoelectric cell, to find the load resistance of carry Foster bridge, to find the value of E to map for electrons by helical method. So all these are not at all new topics and you can easily score well. Also make sure that if you are an engineering student, uh, you are not going to buy books I believe. But remember library is a very important place where you should be spending a decent amount of time. Not a lot but you will get most of the books from library. So make a good relation with your college professor, ask them that what are the good books available in the library. In most of the cases they can really help out to go and find the best reference book. Have a good relation with professors, take notes from your seniors, spend some time in library and I believe you will be able to score very well. That's all from my side in this video. If you have any more advice or if you want any uh, topic videos that you want to make just write down in the comment section below. I just even this video was one of the uh, suggestions given by one of the viewers. So thank you so much. Uh, that's all from my side in this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.